you got to be careful. We are here that. because we're merging the CSA, the Garden School, and the Animal Care and Convention on ourselves with uh, food that we eat. Thank you. We think trained individually through our own gifts that we were born with. Like I said, I knew what I wanted from when I was born. I knew I was loved animals. I wanted to be a veterinarian from when I could remember thinking about what I wanted. Did I do that? No. Why didn't I? Well, because of all these things that got in the way. Life, society, money, time, all these things that get in the way of who you really are. And in the end, I look back on my course, and I'm still on that same course. It's kind of amazing. I'm still about animals. Maybe I'm not a veterinarian, but I have a purpose to serve animals in some way and to help other people to understand what their stewardship is of these things. Now this isn't everybody's purpose, it isn't everybody's mission, but it's mine and it's a path that I've gone down through the garden school to realize that this is who I am. And the garden school and doing it with the vehicle of the farm, the physical location of the farm, the mental and spiritual lessons of the garden school, each person can come there and have the same journey and discover who they are and how they can start becoming who they really are in society and as a collective because these things start small we can start changing our country we can start changing our little community which I mean this is throughout history this is how great societies have become great again our societies our society is falling apart America the world but it starts in the home and this is what this is what Penny's talking about. I'm a mother. I'm a creator of, of, of humans. And this is what we're trying to do, is we're getting it on a small scale, and we have to start from the ground up. And it looks like a huge task, an endeavor that only a god could partake of, but we are, we are the ones that make this life happen. We, as the people, the collective. And we have to start small. And this is our little group of people have come together in some amazing, way and have discovered our connections to help other people start finding their true purposes on this life and that it's not just about the buck and making money and going fast, 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 but it's about slowing down. There's a slow food movement in Las Vegas that's already started. It's actually all over the country and the world right now. They kind of had the same idea. We need to slow down our food. We need to get more local, the true meaning of what local is. And you know, I mean, there's just all a big connection. And we're, just, we're still kind of discovering it as we go. I mean, the more we talk to each other, and each time we do a presentation like this, we're like, oh, yeah, you know, okay, da -da 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 -da, and we do something a little different. Each time we've presented it, it looks, I mean, the last time we presented this, it looked almost completely different than it does today. So it's evolving, just like people do. We want people to start evolving. So what we're actually doing is expressing our thoughts and and feelings about what our mission is so that we can find it and then be able to communicate that to our community and we want to uh, include Las Vegas because we need to live, we need to make a buck, but our, our service is to help people by providing uh, good food and provide solutions to the problems that they have in their lives through the garden school. Okay, Quick. so so that's kind of our basic thoughts. We have a lot of supporting uh, you know uh, ideas there and the problem I think we have is to get that out because I think people are looking for it. This movement, this local food, healthy food movement is spreading like wildfire because people are realizing that, yeah, the food I eat doesn't make me feel good. I feel lousy when I go down to the local fast food and eat there. I feel terrible. If you go, if we go home and eat our salad or our vegetables, we feel good. We feel better. But I think there's a philosophy that goes with the feel good about the food. It's the feel good yeah. about us. And then, because we and know what we're right. about. And so, that's part of where the garden school is and the pulling all of this connection in together. Right. Is the, that we feel, feel good. good. From the food will fade 
unless you have the, feel the good about relationship us with, and yeah. You, you've taken the concept of whole foods and taking it more into the physical things you take in, but taking it to another level. Yeah. The whole person. I the, was whole person. the whole person. Right. The whole there person. You go. Right. I was up at a seminar last weekend, and it was on Kirk Duncan, and he started telling us about the vision of this school that he was building. And while he was telling the whole group of 500 people, it seemed like there was just electricity in the room and what I noticed after hearing the feedback of all of these different people is that there seems to be a whole generation of healers right now to heal people whether it's physically or emotionally there was just electricity in that room about there's a whole generation of healers and there's a whole generation of heroes and right now we're gonna get this all together to where we can get our minds figured out get our, mo our bodies reconnected it's about helping the nation. It's about finding those roots and remembering who we are. And being that. Yep. That's good. Yeah, so we feel like if we can get this message out in the correct way, that it will help people and they'll want it. And help communities so that they can take it and do it too. And, and start, start changing. Yeah, and start changing, changing things for the better yeah. for everybody. Do you guys have a business plan? Uh, it seems like each one of you is no, a separate. Can you help us work one out? Well, that's that's, that's what he teaches. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're here for. It seems to me blending. like you you really you have several business ideas that are merging and either into one or associating with one another. And so, is it managed as a whole or is it pieces and coordination? It's a the, the organization. <laughs> no. We're trying to answer we those yet. questions. Right. Still in creation. We right. think that it's together. We feel pretty sure that we're going to be doing this together, that they're not going to all be But separate. yet there's individual yes. parts. It's like there's there a is. circle that's a circle where there's part of this circle that overlaps this circle, and this is our joint mission, but we still have individual missions. That's so, and each new person comes into this picture, and there's part that's a joint mission, but there's also part that's an individual mission. Look up so synergy. Synergy is right. our vision, synergy. yes. And I believe in synergy. Well, let me ask you, I've got two minutes of tape left. Ah. Uh, proposals like this, businesses like this, in the stage they are, is that really good for your students? Is it, is it too, is it, are they too premature right. for your students? Well, I mean, are they perfect. too much ahead of the curve? It's perfect. If everybody it's perfect. had everything nailed down, then I wouldn't be here neither. Because they've got a substantial business idea, but it just really needs to be clarified. That's what it? we want. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're here for. If and everybody had everything buttoned up, you know, right. Steve Jobs mm -hmm. built Apple. And you know he started you know from the ground roots. That's how everything starts. Yeah. So the key thing is is that we prefer people who are coming here raw. We, I mean, that's what we're here for. We're here for the healing of the mind intellectually. And so it's the same thing that they're speaking about. So I think this is the perfect time. You know, in the infancy, we're called a business incubator. That's you know what an incubator Thank is. So yeah. that's right. who we are. <laughs> There's a lot of spin-off ideas from this too. Mm -hmm. it will be, and the students learn from that. I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, letting them play with it, get their hands dirty. You heard, like, you know, Roxanne, as well as a few others who's really excited about this. I think this is what it's all for. And so, I mean, we're going to grow this, you know, CSN and, you know, Nevada Small Business Development Center. It's all one big, you know, team. So it'll be working. It'll work.